In this video essay, I will explore how this financial so crime thorough. has evolved over time, how Habbo chooses to Dude's like the Batman of Habbo Hotel. And finally, give you a personal note. Game, it was rather broken. Scripters were players who basically hacked the game using exploits. They manipulated code within the game. While some scripters did it merely for fun, such as allowing themselves to decorate their rooms better, others decided to give themselves endless amounts of- Whoa, what the items. fuck is this? This was also a time that actually when is a cult. internet security wasn't much nice. of a thing. And in the age where internet security wasn't as prevalent, you can guess what people set their password as. By spamming thousands of username and password, that's nuts. They were able to crack account after account, taking both okay, the okay. And the only gift that came with it. And Shitty password. The hacker that they were, there were clearly successful attempts, such as in 2017, when two players in a hole, which allowed them to generate millions of coins. But these hacks against Habo itself became rarer. So criminals Holy had to shit. find another way. But don't so on the front lines of controversy and their desire and crime. to obtain virtual currency. Being scammed is such an ingrained experience of Habo that it acts almost like a rites of passage. Unlike I never hacker, got scammed. I wish I did. Expertise, the scammer I didn't get the full experience. Confidence and charisma. For example, a scammer might say, Oh one. look, Habo senses your password. The victim would that was a RuneScape scam. Did it come from Habo? The would log into the victim's account and change their login details. If the scammer I can't- I don't daring, think it ever they worked, though. the victim to type their password and press Control m instead. In the past, Control m acted the same way as the Enter button. Habo has now since patched this. Another low-effort scam involved the scammer claiming I don't think that, that ever fucking worked. Tools to duplicate I refuse to believe anyone was that dumb, All the victim even as a kid. was hand over their coins to the scammer. Then the scammer runs away with the money. This scam happened so often, a counter scam was developed where someone would pretend to be a skeptical yet naive victim. The victim would claim that they were going to give one coin to the scammer as a test to see whether the scammer is legit. If the scammer could double the victim's money, they would hand over a larger sum. <laughs> this is all RuneScape scams! Blood in the water. Falling Furniture FF is a game hosted on Habu, and it's sort of like musical chairs. The host would play. This game looks fucking lit. Rush to sit on them. You just go the and sit on a toilet seat. Do not get us. Hosts would ask the loser whether they wish to pay to stay, pay for revenge, or leave the game. Pay for this revenge. This choice is commonly referred to as P2S, what does that mean? rev, or kick. Pay to stay allows the player to what stay revenge? in the game. What revenge? They get to like execute someone. Rerun of that round. When someone is a victim of revenge, they don't immediately get kicked out. Instead, they're given a choice to pay to stay, pay for revenge, or to leave the game. This is this so smart. To the phenomenon of revenge, Kids would absolutely do that out of spite. Battle it out by revving each other. Well, if your partner ends up losing a round, they can just rev someone. They don't actually have to pay you anything. They only pretend to pay you something. If they choose a particularly wealthy victim, they could even start a rev war. A rev war that your partner That's can't so possibly lose. Smart. What? I'm blown away right now. An actual revenge loop, and then a scam on top of the scam where you get someone to go in with you that pretends to be like revving a rich player. So that way the rich player revs them back, and it just goes on and on and on until the rich player runs out of money, and you just say that your friend won. Genius. How? No way kids came up with this. This was absolutely the work of like fucking Bernie Madoff or something. Like he was in here running hobo scams. There's, like, there's just no ch- like, the fucking penguin from Gotham was in, in this bitch. Like, this is so actually smart. And also, to the person, uh, I saw you mention that you lost your account because you gave someone their pa your password on RuneScape. I did the same shit, kind of. When I was a kid, I had an account called Strong Wolfo. It was my main on RuneScape. Or, like, one of my five mains back then. And, I, my password was Wolfo. And one guy was teasing me. He's like, I bet your password's fucking weak. And I'm like, no, it's actually really strong. I got a really cool password. He's like, no, you fucking don't. And I was like, yeah, I do. And he's like, oh, well, what is it? And I was like, it's Wolfo. There goes the account. Yeah, so I def I mean, I, I definitely would have fallen for scams 100%. But the one that I always knew I would never do is like the Jagex censors your password. I, I never thought anyone would fall for that. Scams. What you Pay fell for is worse. Yeah, it was. I agree. I got the account back. That they were working in concert with someone else. I didn't lose it forever, but that did give me a scare. Actually happened. 
Ah, yes, I was wondering so if you had any red so pixel thorough. furniture by any chance. Chances are, if the shop owner did not display the red furniture in their shop, they probably wouldn't. Ah, 20 coins right. for information? Well, if you do find any red furniture, please contact me as soon as possible. Tell the owner that you're selling rare items like, oh, I don't know, this red pixel furniture that you just so happen to have. By offering to sell it at a much lower price than what the fake buyer is offering, like 10 coins, you create an almost irresistible opportunity. Genius! And Fucking genius! And that's how These are the smartest kids in the world! Piece of furniture that was only worth God 100. damn! The emergence of these Fuck. more sophisticated and complex scams. Little baby geniuses out here. Art of scamming and an ever Corporate corruption. In Jesus November Christ. 2017, Cess, also known as May, I'm excited. to the highest office of the Habbo White House. Turns out, like, Nintendo's got a sect in here scamming kids. The organization's history, as she became the White House's first female president. Meanwhile, Infernum, also known as Craig, was packing his bags. Having served his two-month term, he was now the outgoing president. This lore is wild. Of 14 pre Most corporations had a special treasury account. Any donations or profits earned from sales would be stored in this account. Treasury accounts meant that multiple trusted people could do transactions on the organization's Your behalf. fucking secret it agent assassin bodyguards sleeping on the job. Fire him. So led to the problem. The rise in corporate crime is a more recent phenomenon. <gasps> As corporations play a much more significant role in the day-to-day -day lives of players, they present greater and more audacious opportunities for any would-be criminals. What do they do? I I don't understand. Like. What do the corporations do? This actually just looks like some Heaven's Gate shit. Like everyone's glowing over here, like they're about to go Super Saiyan. Beastly tuxedos talking about Sugar Mama Lauren, like, and here's a dog. What, like what do the corporations actually accomplish in the game? How are they generating money? We saw in the last video he did that they make money by hiring people to boss people around so they literally get people to pay for a power trip. But he's saying corporations play a role in the day-to-day -day activities of the community. And I don't really see how. From from everything we've learned about the corporations so far in the last three videos. Exploit. As for us. With these reforms in place, the White House had to start over, and through donation drives and sales, they managed to rebuild the treasury. All in all, they managed to reaccumulate $450 worth of coins and rares. And these treasury reforms ended up working for one year, when in 2018, a trustee called Jess emptied out the entire oh. treasury account after the White House tried to impeach her. She looks like a pirate. Like, why? what was the hiring process like here? I could tell you if I was on the board of trustees and I was vetting for the next person to handle my treasury in Habo, I would not pick this person. They look like a fucking criminal. 100%. We're talking big fucking bucks here. Some huge noodles. I'm not going to risk it. With someone who comes in here with a goddamn eye patch. Uh, it, it's unreal, unreal. They, it's like they didn't even try. For allegedly working for the Habo Mafia. Of course, embezzlement and the Habo corruption Mafia, doesn't huh? just happen in the right. Habo White House. They claimed the founder would regularly use the treasury as their personal bank account, <gasps> withdrawing what? thousands of coins at a time to sell in the black market to quote-unquote fuel their clubbing habit. In fact, oh. the embezzlement of corporate Good funds was them. done so frequently, the board of directors actively fabricate numbers in their spreadsheet and under- They have a spreadsheet? A Habo Hotel Corporation treasury spreadsheet of their coins to in-game dollars. And they also have an accountant cooking the books. There's no way these are real numbers, right? From Habo Hotel coins? Like, this can't be fucking right. 236,000 US dollars for Habo Hotel coins? I I must be misunderstanding this, I think. There's no fucking way. Yeah, is there a Habo Hotel IRS? I helped run the biggest underground casino on Habo. If you want some solid information, hit me up, brother. Yeah, what were you pulling in monthly? Like, I imagine... If these... Are these, really, like, actual sensible numbers that people were making from Habo Hotel coins and selling them? Or is this just like, if they sold them what the total could be, like under ideal circumstances? Like how often were you able to flip coins in Habo Hotel to actual USD? I can't imagine it was a booming market where everyone was buying all the time. 
Like I, I, I don't know. This doesn't. This, there's no way these numbers have to be. I have to be misunderstanding these. Europe. The founder does not take money from us unless necessary," said the official. They insisted that revenue earned was reinvested back into the corporation. Yeah, it's crazy. Came the dig on. into the company's finances revealed that in 2019, the company's annual turnover was approximately 300,000 credits. That is equivalent to 20,000 US dollars. Okay, were sold. I think this helped illustrate it. This is not US dollars that they're pulling in. It's coins. Okay, that makes so much more sense. It's still a lot of money, obviously, as evident here. But it's it's coins, not two hundred fucking what was it two hundred fifty four thousand U S dollars to two hundred fifty four thousand coins. Oh. Furthermore, Arctic Ice also argued that the player agreed to the terms of service, which stated that the security of a player's account Here's is their X -Man. Own responsibility, and by extension, the player is responsible if their stuff gets stolen. This echoes Habo policy, which describes being a victim of a scam as user error. And Habo states that it does not allow for reimbursement for quote unquote. Damn, they're good. I feel like Habo Hotel was scamming people on the low too. To reimburse the lost they were in the thick of it, running casinos. This argument. The higher other ups. Countries adopt a in a more recent case in 2012, the Dutch Supreme Court followed suit and held that virtual items can be considered goods which can be That's... stolen. The argument that this is so. F this is crazy. Taking a virtual object in RuneScape is now being labeled as legitimate theft if i was actually i probably this is 2013 no 2012 i would have stopped scamming by this point imagine i went to a dutch prison or something i get like, fucking deported from scamming people in runescape holy shit well it's all this is also an extremely intense case Took the 13-year-old victim to the home of the co-defendant where they assaulted and threatened the victim with knives to coerce him, and, coerce him into logging into his RuneScape account and then drop the objects in the game environment. Jesus Christ. Unlike adult consumers, however, children tend to have less resources to defend themselves against unfair business practices. And whose fault is that? In many cases, Being a child is cringe. Just anger, be an adult, dummy. Wrote the professors. Defend Some yourself in court. They... There is also a pinned news article from 2018 warning people of phishing sites. Habo also hires ambassadors, specifically selected volunteers whose role is to help welcome new players into the community and help moderate public. Is this groups. one of them, DB Cooper over here? Infobus session. This one of your community leaders. Awareness of certain issues. After some time, the old batch exited the bus and a new batch of people were allowed in. Only then did I learn I was person 25. The maximum capacity of the bus was 24. Needless to say, I very much wasn't amused. I was finally allowed to enter the bus, and Josh, my ambassador, immediately begins laying down the ground rules. This is Josh creepy. So this is like an official Habo instructional thing for the community? You gather them here in like a, a fucking trailer, and you sit in a circle and Josh looks into your soul? Like, is, does it go one by one? Oh, this is weird. I'm trying to read their conversation. Josh also gives password advice, such as changing your password regularly oh, and jo using lots of numbers, symbols, and capital letters. Imagine, oh my god, I, I thought of a cool scam here. Imagine if one of these ambassadors decided to start scamming. So these are obviously kids that are trying to learn about how to be safe on Habo. But imagine... So when he talks about password safety, he like kind of leads them down a path of like a password that he wants them to get to, right? So, you know, like a strong password would probably be something like your name plus a couple letters like one, four, and five. And then he could just take a list of everyone who visited his seminar and just try those kind of passwords in. Maybe get lucky on a few accounts. Good evening. It is every parent's terror that their internet literate child will arrive in a make-believe children's web world that is so unsafe that he or she can be propositioned for sex by a paedophile within four minutes. And finally, what? there is a oh, wow. third and much more What a speed run, what? ...on why Habbo doesn't do that much. There simply is no final... Habbo's got the sentence. fastest pedophiles in the Theory, world. And Joseph Stalin, I guess. Good customer service. This setup on its own is not rigged. 
you genuinely have a 50-50 chance on whether you move the arrow or teleport to the exit. But I hacked the code. There is role in wide, however, and that is each stack of wide is its own function. But the stack does not have to be continuous. You can have an input and an output box separated by air, and the function still works. So, if we look what? up, you will notice an additional piece of wide I didn't talk about. That box is a condition <gasps> Wait, but box. It will what? only allow this function to activate. If oh it's my god! I also have I feel a like it's the wide fucking function. ending to the prestige. In function, the input is the same <gasps> switch. The output box is teleporting to the exit, and the function only operates when the light is off. What and a twist! Up, I can make it so that if. Oh now, my if you god! Something, you will realize that when the game is in a normal, unrigged state, the wide boxes activate and play a small animation. When the game is in a rigged state, those wide boxes are not activated and so they don't play this animation. So to create the illusion that the wide boxes are activated, I simply created another wide function. The input is the switch and the output is this, which allows oh, me to change the state oh. of an item. I showed you previously that it can open doors, but it can also turn on lights, do this, and most importantly, trigger the animation effect. Only the owner and those with rights given by the owner can look inside of these wide boxes. So the Even if I could look in them, I wouldn't understand them. This is so deep. Is if it looks legit. This is actual just I've engineering. I placed my wide set up, or some of it, in the public view to give the perception that I was fully transparent. I went through all of that trouble just to make my game look authentic, but, more real than the other Okay, games. but the, I, I, I don't know if he's about to address this, but if it, the secret really was just zooming out far enough to be able to click the light into a rig state, couldn't any one of the players just zoom way out and see that? Or am I, am I missing like a crucial piece? Because anyone could have done that, like I'm sure... There's some player out there that plays in like turbo zoom out mode that could have seen the floating stuff. So you can only zoom it out that far if you're the owner? What I did was not some large scale hacking operation or setting up a phishing site, but at the end of the day what I did was still wrong even if it was comparatively minor. And it's something I genuinely regret doing and something I've never done since. Oh, you coward. Be proud of the scam. Though maybe like he scammed someone so hard will have that they like crime. really got sad. This is a sim. Having a visible and vigorous approach to tackling financial crime will go some way to deterring future attempts by enterprising players. As for my own story, I still have regrets. Some of the coins and furniture that I have in my possession were illicitly gained. Yeah, so they were. Them, though. But I decided that the only way to repent for my sins was to give it all away. No! What? I will admit it was extremely difficult to do. I was attached to my coins and my furniture, which I've earned over the past few years. My wide collection and my Damn, prized furniture really felt bad. has sentimental value to me. But I decided to do it anyways, and there was no turning back. It was certainly gratifying, however, to make someone's day. Thanks, Arisa. Maddox anyways, and Belly. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a nice day. This was such a fucking interesting rabbit hole. Oh my god.